Um, there's another interesting thing, if you wouldn't mind speaking about. You had coined the uh, the O'Reilly factor. Is that correct? So well, yeah, because uh, Bill and I used to hang out with a posse that. Uh, uh, well, I had met Bill at one of the clubs at one point in the early 80s. I was a man about town. Um, I used to write, I used to give Esquire magazine the ideas of what to write about. Only kidding. Uh, but I used to go out quite a bit, and I met um, uh, Bill at an event when he was at uh, PM Magazine, which was a local uh, WCBS uh, property. And uh, we just hit, hit it off, and we became uh, close friends. And um, Bill was, uh, if you think I'm a bigger than life uh, personality, he is a, uh, a bigger than life personality on steroids. And uh, what he would do is, um, uh, get us to do things that perhaps we weren't um, comfortable with. And um, uh, I framed that as, or, or described it better but yet, as the O'Reilly factor, <laughs> something that he wanted to do oh, that maybe what? we didn't want to do. Right. And oh, if you like to take a look at a Rolling Stone uh, uh, magazine uh, column that references this. Mm -hmm. uh, you could uh, go through John Tantillo, Bill O'Reilly, Rolling Stone, and it will come up. So oh, I'm great. just not, I'm just not making it up. And what's so funny was uh, a few years ago, a dear friend of mine said, "Well, uh, I, I won't mention the person's name, but he said, well, you know, I came up with the." name the O'Reilly Factor. And then I had to proceed to get the reference and send it to him. So to, <laughs> to make sure That's he great. knew uh, who the was origination. The, the origination of that. Good. But, that, so, that but sure. But that, that's interesting because um, what, uh, what Bill did is he took a friend's concept and made it part of a part of his brand incorporated that with his TV show because his original show was called The O'Reilly Report. A little too dry. Yes, yes. Okay, so when factor, he first yeah. went over to Fox, uh, he they, they named it and he changed it to The O'Reilly Factor. So I'm Makes pretty, uh, I was pretty proud of that. That is, yes. And, and you are with Newsmax right now? Yes, you right are... now I have a column at Newsmax I write. It's called The Marketing and Branding Lens. And what we do there is we take a look at the topics of the day and use the marketing and branding lens to decipher what's in fact going on. And, and an example of that is uh, Kaepernick uh, and Nike. That Nike was very, very astute to um, choose uh, Kaepernick as their spokesperson, even though uh, a lot there was he was getting a lot of flack from what I would like to describe not Nike's customers. And if you go into who Nike's customers are, they're young men and young women between the ages of 15 and 39, okay? And the people that were complaining about Kaepernick were people over the age of 50. So if, if Nike wanted to be smart, and which they were, wanted to cash in on Kaepernick's personality with that target market, and they, they obviously did some research, this was smart. And this is what we do each week uh, at Newsmax.com in my column, The Marketing and Branding Lens, where we analyze those kinds of uh, uh, current events and come up with some sort, or, may, or look at, Look at, look at what's behind the decision that corporations are, in fact, 
There is, it, it's yeah. a science. It, it truly it is a science. It certainly is. It, yeah. We like to say that marketing is an art and a science. Yes, true. So that's what you really have to be able to, uh, and you can't take it personally, as we like to say. <laughs> you can't. It's 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 just business. 